so this was our screen 2005 a cantilever beam has the square cross section of a 10 mm into 10 mm okay this is a square cross section it carries a transverse load of a 10 newton at the midpoint considering only the bottom fibers of the beam the correct representation of the longitudinal variation of the bending stress here longitudinal so again we will go back to the basic equation so what is that here f equal to bending stress equal to m by i into y so here bending stress is depending on the two values here actually three values but in the all cases we generally choose i as a constant how i become constant so whenever we take the constant cross section if the cross section is not changing as you go along the beam then i is constant okay if the cross section is changing then i also will change okay but in in this case i is constant and it should become it should depend either on the resisting moment or on the y what is the y that is the length of the fiber from the neutral axis okay so here the stress changes you know if we if you if you take this as a neutral axis the stress changes along this way and also along this way when you move along the length of the beam okay in this case what was asked so we need to see how bending stress is changing along the length so how along the length it will change so bending stress is depending on the bending moment if you go along the length of the beam okay so here in this case we need to find out the variation of the bending stress at the bottom at the bottom fibers that means y is constant here what is the y y is distance from here to here okay this is a constant here and uh, i also constant here but m is changing so here f is proportional to m so whatever the change in m will be replicated in the change in bending stress so first we need to find out the change change in you know moment along the length so how to find out that so if you if you draw bending moment diagram for this so bending moment diagram from here to here there is no force so when there is no force it's a becoming zero okay this is a point b and this is a point a okay so we need to write bending moment for this section a b here so for the a b what is the bending moment bending moment equal to here the force 10 okay into perpendicular distance so let's say i have taken a, you know at a distance of x from this portion this is the so this is the cross section so what is the value here so this is x into x minus 1 okay so we we wanted to find out the bending moment at this cross section and if we know the force is acting on the right side then the force into perpendicular distance from this cross section to the point of the force so what is that, that what is that distance this is the distance that is a, nothing but a x minus 1 why because up to here this is a x and if you subtract 1 then that is a x minus 1 and how it is varying this is a linear okay and at x equal to 1 so m m b becoming 0 and at x equal to 2 m j what is the value here 10 we are getting 10 newton meter okay so that means here this is a moving like this why in the negative direction because this is a compressive we are producing compressive actually actually this bending moment is not negative but when you deal the you know bending stress then it will produce the compressive okay so now we want to draw bending stress for this one so here bending stress is directly proportional to m that means bending stress also changing according to the moment so up to point c 
point C to point B again bending stress also becoming zero why because this is a directly proportional to M and from there it's a increasing linearly like this okay and we need to find out this value what is this value so this is again the maximum we need to find out the maximum bending stress here so already here we know f equal to m by by i so what is the value of m here m is a 10 newton meter into y y is a distance from neutral axis to the bottom fiber so how much is that that is a 5 into 10 power minus 3 if you say if you convert into meters okay and uh, we need to find out the moment of inertia for the cross section given cross section that is again 1 by 12 into width width is 10 mm in multiplied by height depth that is also again 10 mm cube and uh, we need to change everything into meters okay so here 10 power minus 3 for this and here 10 power minus 9 for this if you convert into meters then uh, all together it will become 10 power minus 12 okay and uh, if you simplify this then you will get a uh, 60 into 10 power 6 newton per meter square so what is the newton per meter square that is a uh, pascal okay so this can be written as a 60 mega pascal so our option should match with this one okay this value is 60 mega pascal and uh, its shape should be like this so this is a bending bending moment diagram but this is a you know uh, bending stress okay so what is the option here which one is matching option so option a is matching here okay next question was asked in 2016 but it was in the production okay so a yeah, one meter length 10 mm by 10 mm can cross section of a cantilever beam is subjected to a uniformly distributed load per unit length of a magnitude 100 newton per meter so we need to find out the normal stress due to the bending at the point p this is again the simple one so this is the point P we need to find out so from the formula F equal to M Y by I what is the moment here this is a cantilever beam so it's a direct one so M equal to distributed load that is a 100 into the span is a 1 into midpoint 1 by 2 so this is a 50 newton meter okay and uh, what is the y here y is a 5 into 10 power minus 3 why because the, it is a distance it is a distance from the neutral axis to the lower fiber so this is a y and uh, what is the i here i equal to 1 by 12 into 10 into 10 power cube 10 power minus 12 why because we are converting everything into meters okay so what is its value we directly substitute and after that we can see that so here f equal to 50 into 5 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 1 by 12 into 10 power 4 into 10 power minus 12 so if you simplify this then we will get a 300 mega pascal okay so this is again fill in the gap fill in the blank and you need to write this answer next question was asked in 2008 so for the component loaded with a force f as shown in the figure the axial stress at the corner point p we need to find out the axial stress at the corner point okay so here this is the this is the beam and here we have a one more you know uh, section attached to this so instead of directly applying forces on this we applying force here so 
what happens so this force is nothing this since it is attached to this this is a making force this is a exerting some axial force and as well as some couple okay it's a trying to turn this one okay this is a because of this force this is a trying to turn in this way so this is a applying some moment also on this one okay so this is equivalent to this the force axial force is transferred to here along this is acting along the neutral axis okay this is acting here and the moment or the couple created by this force is nothing but how much this value is f into perpendicular distance from this force center of the force to the neutral axis so what is the value that is a l minus b so this is the moment that is a acting and uh, here in this case the moment is uh, trying to turn this one in this direction and here we need to find out the resultant stress that is acting at this point corner point okay and we have already we seen that and we started our theory part by choosing the same type of example where when you try to bend this beam in this direction then automatically this will compress this will this will try to turn in this way okay so this try to compress and this try to elongate this will elongate okay so when it is elongating here tensile stress will be produced but whereas here compressive stress will be produced that is only because of the bending moment or the couple okay so here altogether how many forces are acting for example that total force stresses acting at the point p equal to sum of the stresses that is one stress is produced because of the axial force and then stress is produced because of the bending stress okay so this is a sigma plus a sigma v or fb we can write fb so this is the formula and if i take element at the point p this is my element at the point p okay and uh, normal stress is acting like this on this one because of the axial force f and the bending stress also acting like this why because at the point p the fiber is stretched straight elongated so when it is uh, trying to elongate then it will produce the tensile stress so what is the resultant here resultant is this simply summation so sigma equal to sigma value is f by a what is a area of the cross section <coughs> area of cross section is 4 into b square plus m y by i okay what is the i value here i equal to 1 by 12 width 2b into depth power cube what is the depth here this is a 2b power 3 so its value is 4 by 3 b power 4 okay and what is the value of y y is from norm here to here so that's value is b so if i if we substitute that then it will become yeah, what is the value of m bending moment so bending moment is constant throughout this you know length and what is its value that is a f into l minus b so if i substitute that f into l minus b and what is the value of f y that is a b i i is a 4 by 3 b power 4 and here one b will get cancelled and if i take 4 by sorry if i take f by 4 b square common then it will be 1 plus l minus b divided by b so this is a 3 into l minus b why because this 3 will go into the top then by substitute by simplifying this will become 4 into f, f by 4 b 
cube because after LCM we will take this B also out then it will become 3 L minus 2 B so option is uh, option is D here 